right guys, so today I have another TK Maxx haul and of course it's Halloween themed. So I have a few things to show you, I actually have more than usual to show you because I have been gathering things from various different places, some of the stuff I bought myself, some of the stuff I was sent and oh my goodness. It's all spooky and all amazing. So the first thing I'm going to start with, just because I did mention these in a previous video, are some notepads. Now I know I recently uploaded a video which had these two in and also the witch one which is over there and I can't be bothered to reach it. Um, so I have these ones and then the newest addition to my spooky notebook selection is this one which has some little cats and the word boo. I really loved this design. Of course I am a crazy cat lady so how could I turn down these cute little cats? It is is just lined paper and the little pen that's in there is black and white spotted. Now this costs 2 dollars it's by the same company as the rest which is Lady Jane Limited and in here there are a hundred sheets so there's slightly more sheets in this cat one than the other ones which I had before. The main difference with this one although it's the same price and has more sheets is the fact that on the back it has this black square which is of course magnetic so that you can attach this to your fridge and potentially use this as maybe for writing shopping lists or if you like to leave little notes on your fridge. Um, I won't be using this probably on my fridge um, but I thought I would add that in just so you know. So as with the which one I showed you the actual paper is joined at the bottom. But the reason this surprised me is because I figured they would all be like magnetic. Not that it matters anyway as I said I'm not going to be using them as magnet. So this one I feel like you need to write on it on like a solid downward surface otherwise of course all your papers are just going to fall forward so I'm really interested to open this and see whether or not this is joined at the top or the bottom because if this is joined at the bottom I feel like it's going to be a pretty useless magnet so let me take this out of the gorgeous packaging I can't believe how nicely these things are packaged especially for the cheap price of $2.99 you'd think by adding ribbons and stuff they'd bulk up the price a bit but Alas, the prices are still very, very reasonable. So again, just like the other one, the pen is sellotaped on there and look, fantastic. It is joined at the top. I was slightly worried. Um, I'll take that one off just because the pen is sellotaped to it. Um, I'm very, very pleased with the fact that this is like a regular notebook that's attached at the top. So this will work on your fridge very nicely if you attach this with the magnet. So I did just go and try this on the fridge and it did hold up quite well. It did slip a little bit at first but I feel like the more you use this and the more paper you take off obviously the easier this magnet is going to hold onto the fridge just because this is quite heavy and as you can see it is quite a bit thicker than the other ones which we got. So for the sake of science I'm going to try out this pen and see if it too is in black ink. I tend to only write in black ink so I'm hoping it is in black ink. Again, it's quite a small pen. I feel like with these I'd have to put the lid on the end to comfortably write with them. So let's have a look. So yes, I'm very pleased to see that this is in black ink and my writing is absolutely horrendous. What does that even say? Um, but yes, it writes very nicely and also as I said, it does write very easily on this angle. So. As with a lot of burrows, they do run out unless you're writing this way. So I'm pleased to see that it is capable of writing at this whole angle. As I said, since I did actually get these in HomeSense, but you can also get them in TK Maxx, um, I have got four of the designs. I have the witch one, the bat one, the ghost one, and now the cat one. Um, so I'm really pleased with all of those. They do also do some sugar scars and things, but I felt like these four were my favorite and I definitely have enough paper to get me through, at least until next Halloween. So the next thing. I got from TK Maxx. I love him. Can you tell what he is? Can you tell that he's a hungry kitten? Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So I got this from TK Maxx. I actually got this last weekend. I did mention that my TK Maxx is slightly further afield than my home sense, but I went last weekend and I was able to pick up this beautiful little spooky cat. Now I've seen these a million and one times. They are all over Facebook, they are all over Instagram, they are all over YouTube. 
And at one point I was on such a hunt, I had contacted like 50 people asking if they could get them for me and everyone kind of said shipping is going to be a bit expensive just because how big these are, etc, etc. And then TK Maxx bought them out on the website just as I spent my last £10. So I had no money to buy this and I was like <laughs> crying tears because I wanted it so much. Anyway, I kind of got over it, I kind of came to terms with the fact I wouldn't find him. When I went into TK Maxx the other day just for a little gander, I went around the whole of TK Maxx, I decided there was nothing I wanted and then something inside me was like, just go, just go look around once more and I looked around and I spotted him on the bottom shelf and I got him. So he is of course a candy bowl, he is completely hollow in here. So you can put your candy in here if it wasn't eaten, um, it can sit in there nicely. I probably won't be using this as like a candy bowl. I don't really get trick or treaters where I live, I live in the middle of like a forest so like no one ever comes down here because you'd have to drive so unless we have driving trick or treaters we never really get anyone come to our house. So this would be perfect if you did have trick or treaters, you could leave candy in it and just put it outside your house or you could leave candy in it and and when people knock on the door you can cradle it like a baby and tell them to take food out of your cat's mouth. It does have an almost like vintage look to it and it is by this Candy Corn Lane brand which is the same brand which made my down pillow which I showed you a few hauls ago. Now I've never actually seen this brand in England before I bought the countdown cushion but now I seem to see them everywhere so I am so pleased with this. Now this actually does cost £14.99 which for £15 I don't think is too expensive for such a large piece as you can see it is bigger. Now it's not actually too heavy it does have some weight to it but it definitely feels like it's like a hollow resin material. Now I did get mine for £13 just because it has a few little inconsistencies. It's got a little chip here which I can very easily cover up and it has a little bit of green paint randomly on its chin which again I can really cover up very easily. So I did get this for £12 or £13 which I was going to get it anyway for £15 but I did think I'll try my luck since it has a little chip on it and they happily took off some money for me so I was very thankful and pleased with that. So here is the cat's face. He, I think he is meant to be a black cat, although he is kind of more of a grey colour. He is like not completely smooth. He's got like various different like inconsistencies with the mould, but I quite like that. It gives it almost like a paper mache look to me. Anyway, he's got various different sort of shades of colour within him. He's got little white tufts in his ears and little white whiskers. He has a red nose and green eyes. Yes, green eyes. My favourite colour eyes for a black cat. And then he's got this big gaping open mouth which is actually, it's quite a good size. On the back it does say that it's for wrapped candies only so I'm guessing this probably, much like some of the other items they make, is not completely food safe. Probably if I did have trick or treat does not want to hand out candy or sweets which don't have wrappers on anyway but it does say that it's only for wrapped candy. He does have some teeth, they're not too pointy or sharp so you're not going to like snag yourself on them when you're getting a snack out of there. Now he does have this big orangey yellow bow tie on and he's holding a massive, massive lolly. It does remind me of the lollies which we get in Spooky Box Club. And as you can see like his little hand is sticking out there and his other hand is like hiding around his back. And then he has this little kind of almost cravat like ruffle bit on the front of him which as you can see has the little chip that's missing. But it's going to be so easy just to touch that up. And he's wearing this onesie, it's like a kind of creamy coloured white onesie and it has these little orange stars and coming out of his little bottom is his little tail which wraps around the side which I absolutely love. It all goes down to his lovely little paws on the bottom with his little claws and he's standing on this kind of textured green grassy surface, surface? surface. <sighs> he is so heavy to hold up. So I am really pleased I was able to get him. He seems like a nice quality. Obviously he does have a chip in him so that kind of tells you that he's obviously not going to be completely um, damage proof as such. He obviously will break if you mishandle him. I've been taking lots of care of him since I got him just because he is so cute. And I'm so glad I was able to actually like pick him up. Look I had kind of begun to think I wouldn't be getting him and I sort of like crossed him off my wish list as if like oh there's no point I'll never be able to find him. But I'm really glad I was able to get him because now that I've seen him in real life and I've actually got him he's a lot nicer than I saw from the pictures and from the pictures I wanted him enough to contact people so I'm really pleased I was able to add this to my lovely Halloween collection. 
So the last few things I was actually sent by a lady off of Facebook. Again, I put out a thing. If anyone finds these, please can you get them for me? And this lady picked up both of these items for me, along with another thing which I actually picked up for the lady who runs Simply Gothic. So the first thing she picked me up was this, and it is a little candle. I have actually burnt it, hence why the little wick has gone black rather than white and this cost 4 99 Now I love a good candle, I'm not the biggest candle person or candle collector as such but I do like a good candle and when I saw this I was just after it so it is just a black matte candle. The only thing with this kind of style is like if you have greasy fingers I'm trying to make it do the thing but if you have really greasy fingers you can sort of see fingerprints on it but it's very easy to clean so that's not too much of an issue but it has this little white ghost on it and it says boo very very simplistic it does look like this ghost has been like scratched into the paint but it is actually like a transfer on there although saying that even though it is a transfer it's very nicely applied I don't feel like it will scratch up scratch up scratch off um anytime soon it is just a white candle it would have been nice if they had perhaps put an orange candle in there or maybe something which was like more halloweeny because this is just a white candle as you see i started to burn it it probably had about 25 30 minutes worth of burn so as you can see it's going to be quite a long lasting candle the thing is though it is scented and it's not the nicest smell. Now I've never been good at working out like the flavours or smells of candles. I can't work this out. But all I can tell is it's just not my favourite smell. It's quite strong. However saying that when I was burning it I couldn't smell it at all. So it's kind of one of those candles that when you shove it under your nose it stinks. Um, but when you burn it it doesn't really admit much smell. Saying that though I did kind of just buy it because of like the glass part so once this candle is burnt and gone I'll probably be using this as something else you could maybe use it as a drinking glass but I usually kind of use these things for like more cosmetic things so maybe with brushes in it um or I also like to fill these with the cotton buds you know like the q-tips which you are not meant to clean your ears with um so that is that the other thing the lady got for me was this mug now i know we don't talk about pumpkin mugs um so instead we're going to talk about a skeleton mug so this is a dancing skeleton mug i love this year i don't know why i've been loving dancing skeletons my halloween like swap card had dancing skeletons on i have just been loving dancing skeletons and when i saw this i just thought it was so cute i really really needed it i'm really glad she was able to get it for me because when i did go to my tea K Max. They did not have it in there. So as you can see there's loads of skeletons on there and they are all sort of doing various different dance moves which I like. I like the fact that the pattern isn't like too obviously repeated. There are little spiders hanging from the ceiling, there are some spider webs and of course there's little bats dotted around the top. And then on the inside of this mug there are bones which continue all the way around the rim and right in the middle it says happy haunting with a little bat and a spider. It's by a company called Portobello by Design. This is bone china which means that it's a very very nice china. It's not like your usual ceramic. It is very very high quality and it's going to be very long lasting as long as I look after it properly. Now I believe this was like 3 99 or 4 99 it definitely was quite cheap. It doesn't say whether or not it's safe to put in the microwave or the dishwasher. But I don't normally put mugs in the microwave anyway and for this kind of thing I'd probably prefer to hand wash it. Now the only thing I have to say is it is a very big mug. As you can see it's like a two hand mug. Um, this mug which I've been using recently since my pumpkin mug broke, it is still very big. I've got used to it but it is like slightly bigger than like my usual mug. I have considered that maybe I could use it as like a soup bowl just because of the size of it that is going to be a very like hefty cup of tea like that is a lot of tea um but saying that i do drink a lot of tea so it'll probably go down nicely i was really pleased with this they do have various other designs i am going shopping soon so i'm hoping to maybe pick up a few other nice ones so for the price, I was very pleased to add another mug to my spooky collection. Now the last thing that this lady picked up for me, I actually got for a friend. I got this for Kirsty, who is the lady who runs Simply Gothic, who makes this amazing jewellery that I'm always wearing. Um, she was after this. Now as soon as I actually received this in person, I was like, no, I never want to give it away. So this is actually Kirsty's, but I'm really hoping that I'm going to find some of these when we go shopping, just because... It's so gorgeous, like in real life, like from the pictures I was like, oh yeah, that's a nice design, it's cute. And then when I saw it in real life, I was like, 
it's good it's amazing so this is the design and it's lots of different cupcakes of course i didn't say but these are tea towels um so there's two of them in here they're 100 percent cotton which is really nice they were 5.99 so they're the more expensive brand um of tea towels which home sense and tk maxx do sell so we've got a little one with a ghost on it we've got just a little orangey one one with a pumpkin a witch's hat and then it kind of repeats there's also one with candy corns on it you can see one poking out there which has bats on it again candy canes and bats so it's like the same sort of pattern but repeated and it's just it's just gorgeous i love it so much another thing i was really pleased about when i got these was the fact that they are both exactly the same um i do hate it when you get one really nice tea towel and then just like a plain white one or a plain like black one at the back although you can use those obviously as tea towels i just like the fact that both of them have prints on them i was really thankful that the lady was able to source one of these so that my friend kirsty could get her hands on them so that's everything which I've got so far to show you from TK Maxx. As I did mention in one of my other videos, TK Maxx are getting like all their Halloween stuff in still, whereas HomeSense are kind of done with Halloween. And when I talked to the lady in HomeSense, since they are sister companies, she said all of the Halloween stuff is slowly going over to TK Maxx. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a spooktacular Halloween. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shades and I'll see you next time.